Honestly, there's so much bad physics in this certain episode of Tom and Jerry, but we only have time to talk about two scenes, so let's start. And yes, we know the quality of this Tom and Jerry video is low, but it's from 1947, so please give us a break. In this scene, Tom is seen playing the piano while Jerry tries to bother him as usual. This time, Jerry tries to adjust a knob on the piano bench, but he technically shouldn't be able to. Mice are weak, and there's no way the force applied by Jerry would exert a torque that would be greater than the torque exerted by the force of gravity on Tom and the piano bench. Instead, we can have a person who can turn it up with a greater force than Jerry and have the piano bench move up only slightly. Shortly after this, we encounter a scene in which Jerry is in the air. The piano bench falls back down, but Tom remains in the air. This is incorrect, because as Newton's second law states, acceleration equals the sum of the forces over total mass of the system. While Tom and the piano bench are in the air, the forces acting on him are the force of gravity and the normal force of the piano bench on Tom, each with equal magnitude. But as soon as the bench falls, there is no net force, meaning Tom should fall the second the bench falls, like this. 